Hey guys, welcome back to We Players SG where we unbox, review, and show you how these games are played. So today we have Dice Throne Season One Rewrote. As promised, I was going to open this, uh, unbox them, and show you what is inside this box. So, uh, a little intro on this. Uh, obviously, it's by Roxley Games, and um, this is a Kickstarter that I got together with uh. Dice Throne Adventures and Season 2 So I actually got the uh, What's that called? The Gameplay Bundle Yeah, so I actually got um, Two of them right there If I can show you So I have them here as well yeah, So I'm going to unbox this soon But uh, I decided to go with this first Because I want to start playing the Season 1 uh, 1v1 with my girlfriend So and Uh get to know the rules first but because this is still new to me and but i bought this mother because i feel that it seems like a pretty fun game so uh again i haven't tried it before i just merely saw a lot of uh gameplays online and i and they actually have a season one uh sort of the non rewrote version which is the first one that came out and then uh the component was all right uh doesn't seem very impressive but then it started with the season two then uh they sort of upgraded their components yeah then i think that's when they decided to go on and re-roll their season one which is quite interesting because you roll your dice and uh if i'm not wrong yeah i think it's about the same time when they uh, actually we announced the dice throne adventures so that's where this whole 1v1 and head-on game become a cooperative game which is quite interesting on how they actually was able to twist the whole game from a 1v1, 2v2 uh, into something that's cooperative so this is quite a big box as you can see so it's still shiny and it's actually in a book form yeah so it's actually quite tall uh, all of them have this like sort of book uh, what's this design to it and it's nice because it's like season one so it's like you know the first episode i mean the first season of this dice throne show and they do have their comic book which is interesting uh no it doesn't come here but i'm not sure if it's inside but i don't think it's inside yeah <coughs> so let's see so you can see the back of the box right yeah so um again this these six characters is the original six of dice throne season one and then they follow to uh they follow up by adding these two which is ninja and train so these are new ones they actually do come in separate packs i believe for this this as well yeah if i'm not i'm not too sure but i think they do yeah also the box is pretty solid on the bottom yeah so this is by roxley games they do have i do have their steampunk rally and i ordered the fusion steampunk rally fusion and i believe it's coming soon as well so do stay tuned for it and yeah so we have eight heroes and these two are the new ones so this will all also come in the season two uh the nicer components so let's uh open this up so let me take out my knife i'll be very careful not to slice open this and here on this side
I, I hope I didn't waste too much of the time just by cutting this thing. So first let me get off. Alright. So I'm as excited as you are. So let's open this up. So I actually uh this was a anniversary present by my girlfriend and uh we got this like I think last year, June. Around there, June or July, so it's about half a year wait. Which is decent uh uh for a Kickstarter game and yeah. So let's let's talk and more opening. Right. <laughs> and again, let's not forget. Oh, it's this way. There's a very nice artwork inside. Not sure why it's there like double layer over here. It means to make it. Oh, it's to keep this in place, I suppose. So yeah, this is very nice. So that's the Mad King, which is also present in uh, the Dice Throne Avengers. I believe as of now it's not not a very big spoiler anymore uh, but yeah so again I don't think there will be any spoilers in this uh, unboxing because season 1 pretty much you know everything and Trent and Ninja has been already published by most uh, YouTubers so I shall leave this box out of the frame alright so let's start with the original Barbarian. So to be honest, I've seen many unboxing of <laughs> this already. Of course, I'm someone that just likes to keep watching them. So, uh, and then I realized that why not try it myself. And uh, one thing to note that when I see them unboxing, I realized that uh, this trace doesn't seem very uh, solid in a way. Yeah, and uh, so these are yeah. As expected, these are not very uh, sturdy trays, so they are, they are those kind that if you use it, I guess, long enough, uh, it might actually crack in the middle, that kind. So, do although they are built really well when they have things inside, but if they are empty, do be careful with them. And when you open them, try to be careful while opening them. But Okay, so uh, I'll try to, you know, cover as much uh, details as I can. Because usually I do look for like little bits of stuff in the games that I play. And one thing I know is that when you open it's really easy. So just that you need to be careful of the not the not the notches here. So just kind of like you know lift them up, then open it so that you don't break this. Because they are packaged very nicely, but if you do break them, then I guess you're gonna you're not gonna have uh, a very easy time storing them yep so again you can see that there's this Roxley games game trays very nice so it's clear here so that you can showcase the character and before I open this uh, I do see that some of them before I even open up this thing and uh, I'm not sure if it's the very flimsy kind of cardboard I hope it's not and usually with this kind of cardboard I'm very afraid of these areas uh, splitting apart so let me give you a closer look so yeah you can see these are uh, seems pretty solid so let's go ahead and open them so first few I'm trying to see if it has any flex again it has this like this texture to it yeah so this is a player board for the barbarian uh, I'm not gonna go too in depth into their various skills and everything <clears throat> but if you do want to see that kind of video do let me know in the comments uh, then I'll try to kind of go through the skills and maybe certain strategies that you can use them together if I can come up with any so again they come up with this very nice trifold cardboard showcasing the character in this bot yeah, so the first one, the season one, normal one, uh, not normal one, but like the first edition, they only have like this rectangular box. So now it comes with this very nice, very graphical uh, design. So I don't have the season one to show you all, but so I can't compare. Uh, but uh, I do see some of them and 
their artwork doesn't pop as much and this looks a lot more epic and they even try to line up this part of it which is some effort there and I do like that they use a lot of iconography which is uh, over here let me bring up closer so this is just to show you the material again because I do like to see like close-ups so that you can uh, I mean I do like to show close-ups so that you can see what's actually what we're dealing with okay so this is the ultimate and these are the skills and I do like that they use this kind of icons to show like what you have to roll for and like this kind of icon like although it's subtle but then uh, it do tell you a lot like if it's red that means it's undefendable and if it's just a normal black then it's defendable that kind of thing and if it's green then it's like a very obvious green so that you know that this is a defense role Alright, and also I like how they very like sort of simply mention that this is a straight, small straight, large straight by this like increasing in size dices here. Okay, so this is the play bot. Of course I'm not going to go through so in depth for every single character. And again, if you can see here, they do have this lip over here for this I suppose so that we put them oh it's not really but I think it's I guess it's just for the top yeah again not just here not sure what is it for or it's just like no reason and I do like this hole here so that if, otherwise you have to use your fingernail to kind of pry it uh, out of the place or like do this and then risk having everything for up so they do have a little place for your finger so that you can get this up nice and easy so this again I want to show you the thickness so it's just a normal uh, paper not really paper but then it's not really cardboard not sure if you can hear it yeah so this is made of shiny just shiny surface so which is okay I mean cause I don't we don't really need to use it so much but rather other components do need to be uh, of higher quality I feel okay so this one so this is a player leaflet so these two are the tokens that you can inflict and you can see that it doesn't have much token because you can see from the back they do tell you that this is a complexity one over here so it's one complexity meaning it's an easy uh, character to play and you don't need too much strategy it's basically just roll and do as much damage as you can so this is the two uh, status effects that you can give both negative and concussion and stun yeah so i remember i played the tabletop simulator which is <laughs> uh, I, I saw it and i bought it because i realized that they do have a tts simulator for dice run adventures so i went ahead and bought it that day itself and tried it out and it was interesting and also it shows that it shows how uh, important all this production quality is because even though there's a simulator but people still do buy the real game in a way like ebook is to a physical book so people although there's ebook but then people still try to go for the physical book because they do still feel better and Despite a simulator being more convenient, like uh, you can just drag the tokens around and then stack it back without having it fall over, you know, physically. So, but of course, me myself, I still prefer a physical game because it's much, it's just nicer to play with them. Yeah. And so this is done. So I played it before. I, if I'm not wrong, is if the person couldn't, uh, let me read this. Oh, stun is another thing, so they must take no action and they can't use a CP. CP1 was another one, I think. But yeah, concussion is the same, you must skip the income phase and then remove this token. So they do show you the dice distribution, which is made of three sorts, two hearts, two life and one power. 
so yeah this will be the one that you need to roll for the ultimate which is this yeah so that you can see it's just very simple inflict stun deal 15 damage despite being a very easy character to play so that's why it has larger damage whereas other characters you need to utilize some like strategy because you don't do as much damage as much damage but then you do have a lot of uh all these status effects to play with which makes it more fun but if you're starting out this can be a very simple and good character to use because they they do balance it out so although you do more damage but you have lesser of these kind of things to you know help you uh with defeating your opponent so again they have a little bio over here which is always nice for this kind of game and credits and some faq uh yeah but i do realize that sometimes this faq is kind of obvious but whereas those questions that uh that when i read it i do have i do feel like it's kind of uh not really well presented then it but then it's not in this faq yeah but i think they do have this online uh sort of live faq in google drive that uh they will update once in a while so yeah, you can check them out if you need some like, uh, you have questions that you need to ask. Uh, if it's not there, you can also go on to their Facebook page. Uh, they do have a Dice Room community that you can ask questions there. Yeah. So again, these are components that you have with them. And this is your health down. So again, I haven't turned this, but what I'm looking for is not a very loose turn. I hope it's tight. Yeah, I don't mind it to be very tight. Uh, just so long that. I can turn them but yeah so again this is a plastic material yeah you can hear that so again it has this this material over here so okay this is this is okay oh sorry this is not helped all this <laughs> this combat point and I do like that they have this icon here it just makes it uh, just looks overall better so this is our CP and I guess everybody starts with 0 or 2, I believe it's 2, yeah. So you can see the thickness of the cardboard, so you can see the same material used for their character board. But you can see like the layers of the cardboard which is what I don't really like. But luckily this one, because it's 2 so it doesn't have a lot of flex. But otherwise if it's one piece then uh, it's going to have a bit of an issue. So these are just, you know, little things that I look out for. And this one again, see, it's just these little things that they do. Just need to push to get it up. So it's very easy. And they do have these notches here, which is made, made for this. So that you see, you can't like move around. Which is very clever and very nice. Again, I'm spending a lot of time on the first character because I want to showcase everything. Like the little details of everything. Uh, for you guys so this is this you can see same material but what I would like is if they could cover this part although it's not really needed but this makes it feel a bit a bit naked if you can if you know what I mean yeah so again this you can see the artwork is different oops yeah so this the mouth is open this is like a more angry face this looks like it has joy while fighting <laughs> yep so again these do turn very tightly oh yeah so this is easier i guess it's like kind of stuck onto it yeah so one part is uh like this part is tight but this part is loose yeah so of course i mean i'm not gonna mine it but i'm just this is just my uh observation so we started with 50 health. See, before I got the game, I already, I already went through the instruction booklet. So yeah, that's how excited I am for the game. Okay, so this is a health doll. And this, again, I'm not going to open this. Uh, okay, maybe I'm going to open one uh, before I go to the dice. So just to show you what is inside. Again, every character should have a different set of decks and uh yeah 
so because they do have different uh different abilities and i think in order to balance them out they do have to include different uh power cards to help players to achieve better rolls like uh, twice as well or something like that to help you re-roll your dice <clears throat> so yeah and this one it has a turn order card so again i would like to examine the thickness of the card uh, this is very thin something that i would prefer it to be a bit thicker because i realize not a lot of uh, card manufacturers does that so their card is always very thin so yeah so these turn orders so i'll just you know bend them yeah so it's not very thick yeah but then i mean it's playable so it's best that you sleeve them of course i'm gonna get my sleeve soon i mean i haven't ordered, i haven't ordered them it should be coming in february or so so uh again these have the same bags and as compared as compared to uh season one the normal one the first edition one so uh they don't have this like uh sort of a custom artwork for every of their card so basically you see this is feeling good so it's like he's eating a drumstick so it is very uh thematic to what's written here as well as possibly to the barbarian's character and personality so feeling good actually rolls three dice and heal one plus two times however many heart that you roll so you have all the different cards so these are your instant action cards so you can play them anytime again i'm not very uh clear and very uh you know uh, well versed in the rules yet but uh, this is what I remember. So yeah, this tree is uh, something they can use. So it's like roll five dice at one damage to times one sword and con inflict concussion. So you successfully dealt at least eight damage to an opponent after their defense concluded. Play this card to inflict concussion. So although, so that's why this kind of thing like there's a, a sort of timing or a phase where you can use them like this in the roll face action you can see here and then it has this color to represent it and this is in the main face so when you are doing your main face i think it's be it main face one or main face two then you can inflict concussion on a chosen opponent with one cp so these are your ability upgrade decks so not all ability have like this is fortitude 2 but i don't think all of them will have like fortitude 3 like yeah it doesn't have fortitude 3 so you have smack 2 smack 3 and sturdy blow 2 and sturdy blow 3 yeah but the rest is just up to 2 but they do give you an extra option which is always good because as you're rolling dice they may not turn out the way you want it so having more options is always better yeah so again we are at 30, 24 minutes <laughs> so uh of course this will be a bit long because i don't want to go through uh, all this with you but maybe not all the cards so yeah these are the ones that is uh sort of common but i believe they do have different uh ratio of all these uh cards to in another deck yeah so this is see so well change the value of any one dice and then getting paid so these are the same and these are the ones that can affect statuses so this is yeah these draw mini drawing cards and like tipping values and other stuff okay so yeah and the bag is quite nice too okay so this is this is it for that and well to the main main style of the show that's the dice so again these have this so effect which they say uh is the, the the ones that come standard so <clears throat> i suppose the normal one that's not the champion uh champion edition champion box yeah they, they don't have this like so dice it's just a normal solid dice so yeah this is the dice and they do they are a lot bigger than i thought it would be uh yeah but i'm not sure if you are 
familiar with Tiny Epic. So this is from Tiny Epic Galaxy. As you can see, they are smaller. Whereas these dice do feel like uh, okay, the size is okay. But these are definitely much bigger. So yeah, it's a good, it's a good thing. Yeah, and they do feel very high quality. They are not too light. They do have some weight to it. And yeah. So I'm just looking out for things like, like if you can see here, it's sort of over painted on the side. And this is not really painted. So it's, you can see that's like, it's not straight. So but I'm, I mean, I'm okay with it. So. I mean, as long as you play with it, they do get worn out and stuff, so I'm not too bothered by it. Just something that I would like to point out. So let's check if this dice works. Yes, they do. Right, so that's... I don't know what's that. So maybe I have a straight. Yeah, I do have a small straight here. And yeah. Just a small shape, okay. So again, these are the barbarian dice. All right. So let's keep all this. So yeah. So this again is very nice. I like. I really like like the production quality of this, and I can't wait to open uh, Dice Throne Adventures. Yeah. So so again, see, it's not really coming out unless you want it to. Partly because they're pulling here, so it's unless you really want it to come out, then yeah, that's what will happen. <coughs> so, Barbarian, I'm quite excited for the rest. Elf Moon, <coughs> yeah, this character looks really nice. So, I really like the blue and black and white theme. So this is, I'll just go through them. It's longbow, demising shot. So this, uh, I believe is a bit like, that's the ultimate. So this here is a bit like, uh, what's that, the gunslinger. In the sense that he has like, uh, what is it, invasive over here. But of course he doesn't have uh, the, what's it called, reload tokens. So I really, actually, I do prefer it over here, like, with his eyes closed. Uh, not too much of a fan with his eyes open. <laughs> I mean, her eye open. So again, he has blind, entangled, and evasive, and targeted. So again, this has more options for you to inflict status. So they do have a positive one, which this one allows you to escape any damage. Yeah. Except for... Uh, What's that? Except for our teammates, I believe. So this is, again, the distribution. Not all have this like 3, 2, 1 distribution. Yeah, so this is a complexity of 2. And the frequently asked questions. And this hour is really nice. I like the bow. Yeah. So that's the component. Again, the CP, CP down. Again, the first time is always uh, harder to turn. Uh, I can't get it to turn. And you kind of separate it a bit. Oh no, I really can't get it to turn. Oh yes. Okay. Let's hope not all of them is so difficult to turn. <laughs> so yeah, same material, of course, everything. He, again this this thing here do work and that's there's a reason why they put these two thing over here yeah so that as you press the other side goes up so you can just you know pick it up pick it up like this or pick it up like this so again very easy so this is the health down very nice artwork again different for the CP and the health so this is 50 and this is starting health okay again the starting day i'm not going to go through them 
uh, I might do a video if you do if you guys again once again if you if you want it want to see it let me know and I'll try to cover every character as I play them because I mean I do have to play them to actually get to know the characters and this is something I would like to point out you can see the dice in here is very nicely coated everything is smooth yeah so as you can see this is very nice see, even this small dot on the little toe is very spot on and you see the thinnest part of this bow it's still very sharp unlike the one in the barbarian so yeah Thin. they feel really nice and i like the size it's just nice it's not as big as uh, king of tokyo and it's not as uh, small as this i believe it, they are just nice Probably the standard size. Yep, so again, I'm gonna go a bit faster so that I don't bore you guys with all this. So, this is the Moon Elf. Actually, I haven't opened this, but I'm gonna do it later. Plus, those are actually the tokens itself. So, this one, and I do see that, oops, it's a little bit uh, scratched up. Yeah, I mean, this is plastic, so they will get scratched up really easily. Again, as you can see, as I'm opening, I'm trying to like pry a little by little bit. Yeah, so this is the Pyromancer. Very nice character. Very fiery. And this is the pack. So again, very nice and very epic uh, looking. Yeah, I do like that. I'm not sure if this, oh, this is not. But I think it would be nice if, uh, you know, every character has something to do with dice. Like, probably she could be, like, holding a fiery dice or a dice on fire. Then that would be pretty nice. So again, we have the skills. Fireball, burning soul. So this character actually do power up as it has more uh, fire, fire mastery. <clears throat> okay yep again very nice and it does has uh, a bit of tokens to play with I mean statuses so like you can see this it doesn't have this like uh, standard sort of standard distribution so it has this three flame one blaze one fiery soul fiery soul and one meteor yeah, so the, this kind of make it more difficult to roll for this as well because there's only one out of uh, six. So it is a complexity of three. You can see the artwork over here. Some frequently asked questions and components as well. So again, everything is very nice. So yeah, this is a lot easier to turn. Let's turn it to two. And this is the art on it again i do like the art like it's cartoon but then it still looks like you know anime-ish enough and this is the health doll so yeah again different artwork but both very nice and of course in case you're wondering why is there two uh slots two holes but i do uh, i Remember a YouTuber mentioning that it's two so that you can put uh, your sleeve. You can sleeve this card and you can still fit them in because it, this, this is not sleeve so it's very thin. As you know if you sleeve a card they will become thicker. So as you can see this is almost reaching this is almost reaching the the max. Yeah so whatever is left over you can actually put them here. And also if you play dice through an adventures you do have to add those cards, uh, additional cards or loop cards to your deck so then maybe you can just put them in one tray and then continue your uh, dungeon crawl later so which is very nice so this is again you can see it's a swirly dice and also this is still very nicely printed yeah I do like that they are the colors are very distinctive 
even for this orange and yellow and then for each uh, sort of type of uh, dice face they do have a different color for it <coughs> so and I just realized something you can see this uh, uh, it's over here you can see this up arrow over here so you can actually just do this and you will just pop all come of course that is they are not meant to come over here but yeah. so you can sort of just scrape it and take everything up because if it was it was all of this right then you have to have a hard time like getting all of them up but in this case they do have a lot of leeway here so again just very little subtle things and if you're wondering why this for this to keep the tokens and there's a bigger slot here so in case some of the characters they do have a special uh, tokens so they can actually put them here then the rest are mainly just a uh, circle so that's a pyromancer and this way so this one do feel a bit tighter yeah roughly the same way <laughs> shadow teeth so this seems like a very interesting character so it's really like teeth, you know, if you play Maple Story, uh, they actually attack with dexterity mm, or luck. So very similar concept here. As I watch them play, I realize that this is a very interesting character. So again, this is the front. And this is the back. Shadow Thief. Yup. So as you can see, there's a lot of CP icons you can see. So it's this shifty strike. It gains three CP, then deal half the CP, deal half CP as damage, which is meaning if you have more CP, then you pretty much deal more damage. Big pocket insidious strike. So as you can see, the ultimate even the ultimate depends on CP. So if you don't have much CP, I mean you still do a minimum of eight because you gain three first, then you attack however many CPs you have yeah so if you have a max of 15 you actually do 20 damage which is a lot because it's with 50 health that's almost half so you have shadow dance shadows defense and they have two uh, defense uh, ability here yeah so it's very interesting Oops, uh, not here I'll put it here and again I really do, do love yeah, production quality is very nice that you can see all this uh like you no know, like uh <laughs> how do i put it like all the different components that are being held together very well by all the different com uh trays yeah so you can see the artwork here they do have not a lot of tokens shadows sneak attack and poison sneak attack is the one that i'm very curious that i didn't really check out so it's after attacking a player with this token may spend it and roll one dice to add value of the die to their damage total. <clears throat> so this is a bit like uh, reload for the gunslinger. Yeah. So but this add the whole value of the dice, so not just half, which is good. Cause half you just do like one, two, or three damage. This one you can do up to six and poison which is persistent meaning they do lose one health every at every start of their turn if they can't get rid of the poison by cards or whatever yeah so it's, i realized that they do have a very different look like this looks nicer like more cool looking but then yeah like you see over here it's very nice but as this you can see that this is sort of the back of the head really so it makes you feel like the head is very small <laughs> So yeah, just something that I do notice. It has a complexity of 5. Interesting, with not much tokens. So I guess you have to manage your CP well in order to do the most damage. Because, uh, let's see. Like this one deals CP as damage. This one deals CP as damage. So this one lets you gain CP and if you roll uh, this, then you actually get <clears throat> to steal one CP from a point opponent. Yeah. Which could be critical. So again, uh I forgot to mention this. If they have two daggers, two back, 
one cut and one shadow so yeah this is pretty interesting yeah so these are the dice i mean are these the combat points combat down the cp down so let's put it to two i do like how you can like operate it with one hand because it's not always nice to like use two hand so this is the health again i'm not sponsored by roxley of course they don't need sponsors i mean they don't need to sponsor people uh to play this i don't think so but then uh i do i do see some of them getting early copies uh but i we really just really like the game overall and this is a health as you can see the artwork here so i believe many people like myself is really interested and really excited for this game so again this is the back i mean this is the uh what's this the deck of cards so again i like their dice because it's very uh high contrast but i do see again you can see over here it's like not a very well done paint job so the rest is still okay all right so again the dice is very very nice i do like it and i like the soul it's like very this mystic and mysterious kind of vibe to it We are halfway through. So I'll try to take care of this game as much as I can without you know spoiling them. Monk. Alright, so actually this is the character that I would like to try it. Seems really cool. Like I think you have to collect chi to deal more damage. And I guess it kind of becomes like the fire mastery. Master V. So this is the player board. And this is the back. There's this very nice temple looking thing. Very zen. <laughs> yeah, so we have this fist dance. Again, I hold it like this and it still doesn't feel like it's gonna break off, so which is which is good. Because I do see some uh, YouTubers holding it like this and then this is like over here. Then I do feel a bit like worried like what if this one just flips over down <laughs> but okay it seems pretty okay anyway fish strike meditate combo strike so you get to do various stuff on everything yeah so this character actually have four faces so the transcendence as you can see as compared to barbarian you do get a lot of things you get evasive you get cleanse, inflict knockdown. Oh yeah, knockdown is the one that you have to pay two CP to carry off. Otherwise, you have to skip your turn, basically. So that's fist of harmony. I do notice that the outline is different color. If I'm not wrong. Lotus strike, serenity, fist of tranquility. Again, very nice. Can't wait to play this. Somehow I like it. And it has four tokens. So it has Chi, it has Revasive, Knockdown, and Clan. So let's see what Chi is about. So Chi tokens may be spent at any time to prevent one damage, one incoming damage per token. So I can stack up to five, effectively preventing five. Alternatively, you may spend Chi to increase attack damage by one damage per token spent. Chi may not be used to increase damage the turn it was gained. I see. So meaning if you do attack that allows you to gain chi, you can't use it immediately to increase that damage. Yeah. So he has two fists, two zen, one palm, one lotus. So again, complexity of four. And this is the artwork. Really nice. Somehow the manga got a bit darker with a very shiny uh, yin yang sign. So very nice. I do like the color scheme also. 
Well, of course, that's just personal preference. So again, the combat point Gao, very nice. And the health Dao. So I'm just looking out for like, you know, whether these are misplaced because I saw some Facebook posts where their Dao was actually misplaced. So like one is like opposite. So this is the artwork. And the deck of cards. So again, every deck has this turn order card to remind them. And which is really nice because essentially you are just handing out this piece to the player and like, it's like, nah, take it. Then set it up yourself. <laughs> so you don't have to set it up for everybody because usually you are the if you are the host, then you kind of have to do a lot of the setting up because if you tell them to help, I think it's faster if you do it yourself. That's just me maybe. But then it's easier to just like, hey, this is your character that you chose. Then you just open everything up and take everything out. So yeah, there's not a lot of setting up involved. And this is the dice for the monk. It's very nice. Again, very nicely printed. Even for the yin yang. As you can see, the small dot and the very last bit of the tail, which is like really small, also gets printed. And this is the fist. And this is the palm. Yeah. Again, I really do like the sound of the dice. Really, really nice. Okay, this is aha paladin. So also another hero that I'm really interested in because it seems like it has some things that can do really high damage. So there's the front, and this is the back. Yep, so I can really tell this like ruins of some place, some ancient place, and it's a paladin. So again, he does have a very big different look when I see this. It's like without his helmet, he looks a little bit weird. <laughs> so this is a passive ability, which you may re-roll one of your dice at any time for one CP per re-roll. You may draw one card at any time for 3 CP per card. Interesting. Doesn't seem very nice. Unless I can upgrade it. So again, you have Retaliate, Righteous Combat, Mighty Prayer, Resolute Faith, 10 damage. So you do have one extra one out of the box. Uh, and this Holy Light, which is, I suppose, pretty easy to get. It's just two hearts. So, and one defense. So, there's a lot, <laughs> a lot of tokens. There's five, I think the most that we've seen so far. So, the distribution, two sword, two helmet, one life, and one prayer. <clears throat> so, let's see, blessing of divinity. So, I guess more of the character from season two also have this. So, it's a stack limit of one. The next time a player, oops. Next time a player or team with this token will have their health reduced to zero. We remove this token and set their health to one. So essentially, you don't die. You kind of have like hang on to life and then, like, you know, have one damage. <laughs> so, I mean, it's, if they couldn't damage you any further, then I guess that's something that you can uh, hope for so that you have another turn. Again, very, very nice. Complexity of 5, same as uh, Shadow Thief. And that's the artwork. Really, really nice. I just like how they are like spoon feeding us. Alright. Hmm. This seems like it should be like that. You know? Or at least like straight with the sword. Or straight with the face. Like, you know, alignment wise, but then the CP is like all the way here. It looks a bit odd. Or maybe it's just like, you know, bowing down. Interesting. So that's the health down. Again, very nice artwork. 
has pretty small eyes like me. And again, the deck. And the dice. And this is very, really very, gives me the feeling that it's a warrior fight because of the grey dice. And again, everything is well printed for this. Yeah. Actually, I do expect that some of the most of the dice uh, actually don't come perfect. But I'm quite surprised at how many do come perfect. Like, I'm assuming that most of them will be something like that. Like, you know, like a bit weird as compared to... You can give you a comparison. So yeah, I can see the difference. Over here. Yeah. I get this like just a bad die. Yeah, but very nice overall. So again, two more to go. And this is this, this, these are actually the new characters already. So all these that we are we are just seeing are just the ones from season one. Again, this is a new character and it's the ninja. <coughs> I did watch Tabletop Nights and they actually had one match with the ninja and the train but then uh, I guess that match uh, they couldn't really show the potential of ninja which I am uh, interested to try because it seems like a really really cool character so that's the bot and over here so it's very nice moonlight over here and this is like a forest with some steps so this is the moves and I think in the video they mentioned that they do need like a lot of ninjutsu to kind of bump up or use it uh, to like get better attacks yeah so this is the skills and they do have this special one which is delayed poison very interesting and a defense role so this is the one delete poison smoke bomb and ninjutsu so i'm interested to see what's ninjutsu oh so you can discard spend a token to roll one dice on six you can deal either you can choose to add two damage or inflict delete poison or make your attack undefendable which is very very good yeah so no wonder they say that they couldn't get a lot of ninjutsu so the rest is just at 1 damage at 2 damage which is okay so we are, we are mainly probably going to just add 1 damage and occasionally can get this undefendable I mean why would you choose this unless the person don't have it yeah so this is ninjato shuriken and mask so this is a complexity of 2 okay and you can see all this interesting and the artwork the shuriken and ninjato alright CB down very nice well centered <coughs> and this is the uh, health doll alright very nice artwork Again, the deck. And actually, I don't have to count them in just in case, like you know, something went wrong in the production. And this is really nice. These are black dice, and they have this green, very poisonish looking. So again, these are printed nicely. Not sure what's wrong with the six here. Yeah, and this little bit. But yeah, actually I'm expecting most dice to come out like that. But then actually most of them come out okay. So yeah, this is the dice. Oops. Alright. So the last character that we have here. Which is the three N. Not very sure how to pronounce it. <coughs> so 
again, this is the character board. Very nice. Yeah, he has something that's like, you know, special to him. So he has a lot of these spirits, which is uh, partly or mostly how it plays. So this is a board. And this is the back of it. So of course it's in a forest with for waterfalls. So we have here splinter, ten fertilize overgrowth. So this actually allows you to gain one spirit every turn. So later we'll see what the spirit does. Woe to you who awakens the forest itself. Wake the forest. Vengeful vines, nature's grasp, call of the wind, call of the wow, <laughs> and rooted. So it's a very interesting character. I believe it's the one of the highest complexity if I'm not wrong. So it has tons of tokens, five. So you can gain spirits, sailing spirit. So you can spend sailing to really to reroll one of your dice. You get a sapling that you can heal, gain CP, or gain CP and draw a card. So you have the dryad spirit. You can spend dryad at three damage. Attack modifier. When opponent's attack will inflict a negative status effect on upon you, you may spend dry at the conclusion of their offensive role phase to prevent that incoming status effect. Yeah, so you prevent the status effect eventually. Essentially, so a bug vine, which every time they roll multiple times, they actually inflict one or two damage, depending on how many times they roll. So you have Wellspring, which is heal half of one dice during main phase. Interesting. So this is a distribution. Three branch, two leaf, and one spirit. And yes, I'm right. So we have a complexity of six. So the highest so far in season one. I believe there's one also that's a very high complexity for season two. Yes. So again, this art, very nice. And the combat points. So, alright, very, very nice. So, we do have this. Okay, you can see trend. So, like, at some point, like, in this, it does look like a little bit uh, very big because it's focused on the face. But then, over here you can see that if you see the body is actually not very big. So it's like these are the legs. Again, yeah. So that's the health down. Again, the deck. Drink dip. Chosen player against Wellspring. So of course, the dice is going to be brown. So yeah, again, some is print. Or miss paint here, but in, uh, once again, it's okay. So it's one branch, a leaf, and a spirit. So, yeah, this is very nice. This kind of makes me feel like I want to laminate <laughs> the leaflet. Alright, so we've gone through all of them. So let's see what's inside here. So these are miniatures which I didn't purchase because uh, they are really expensive for what they are. But I mean, if you are a big fan of it, which I am, but then I just didn't really see the need for a miniature. But I mean, if you are, you could uh, purchase them at their shop. So these are all the play. So this is season one rewrote season two. So you can go on to shop.dicestrone.com to get them. And these are the dice trays, cut sleeves, which is really nice. But I do see someone like breaking their cut sleeve already. Because I mean he did the test uh, to show to 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 see whether how strong they are and they broke. <laughs> But I mean, okay, they give 50, but then I think the card that's like 30 or 40 cards. 
yeah. <clears throat> so this neoprene play, play mats, which I do really want. I'm still looking for a big play mat, big enough so that you know you don't see this weirdness. And I do try my best to align it here, just in case you are OCD. Okay, so this is the instruction booklet. Which is very nice. So this is Gunslinger. Yeah. So interesting because it's season one. By right when they came out, this is a season two character. So I guess they just reuse it. So this is a hero box. Hero leaflet. So again, even the instruction booklet is very nice. Very well laid out with a lot of graphics to show you what's going on. And really relevant examples. So this is the kind of damage that you can do. And these are the turn break now. And other rules. Timing conflicts and interrupting. Which is important. So let's go through these. So this is the one that belongs to the monk. This is a paladin. That's the paramancer. This is a thief. Shadow Thief, there's a ninja and oh actually they just have they have a just nice amount of spirits which is interesting because that's like exactly the stack limit. Uh, I mean which makes sense because you can't go more than that. <laughs> yeah. So and this is this is a moon elf and a barbarian. So these are nice tokens. So let's see how well they punch. Okay, not too bad. I always look for whether they are centered, as you can see. I think I went out of frame. Let's do that again. Let's try the butt. So okay, I don't really need to worry about it uh, tearing off tearing off the token. So again, this is not well centered, which is obvious because there's too much space here. I prefer it to be in the center of course. Likewise for this side. Yeah, and you can see it's the same material. Yeah. So that's the tokens. And let's take a look at something more interesting. Maybe this oh so this punch out really well. You can see very nice. Alright guys, I realized I forgot <laughs> that I have a promo pack. So this is actually a promo pack for season one. Uh, I'm gonna open them for you but everything seems very tight. So I'm trying not to screw up. Yeah so this actually came with the gameplay only bundle or the gameplay gameplay bundle. So I believe it was one promo, one extra promo card for uh, each character and a randomizer which it says here actually. So 8 main face cards and one and 8 randomizer cards. So basically it helps you to choose the characters. So these are the ones, these are the randomizers. And they are in their very, uh, very nice artwork, as you can see. The Barbarian, there's the Moon Elf. So you can put them nicely here. There's the Moon Elf. There's the, there's the Monk. And the Paladin. Pyramids is really, actually very nice. And the Shadow Teeth. Uh, kind of plain at the bottom and the top. Yeah, I mean the rest all look really nice. Like it's well covered. But I guess this is in the shadow. So, so that's the ninja and the treant. So it is very nice. So again, these are just this is this feels even thinner than the normal cards. Yeah. So I'm not sure if you can tell, but it's really really thin. And these are the promo cards. So 
you can see because it says promo here so i believe you can just play them with your character and they're all main phase cards so this is adrenaline search enlightenment luna dojo so of course they're each for its own character so you can tell that uh, which character is it for is the ninja moon elf the monk and then generally so yeah so this is the promo pack okay so i guess that's it for the unboxing so again if you like what you see here please uh subscribe like the video and uh, give me a thumbs up uh and leave some comments down below on which character is your favorite and of course more importantly which one do you want me do you want to see me uh using to fight against my girlfriend <laughs> so yeah so okay and they do have this which i forget to show you so they do have everything lined up properly so this is the shadow teeth this pyromancer the moon elf it's like a very nice very neat package which i like a lot so it's over here so yeah so thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for more videos especially gameplay and of course my other unboxing of uh, the other game let's put this here so once again this is dice drone season one reroute Hope to see more of these soon. Bye-bye.